Hey guys, I'm gonna talk about the Legends of Tomorrow episode called The Justice Society of America. So you haven't seen it, all right, we're gonna spoil it. You still here? All right, let's go. Uh, hey, this episode was called Justice Society of America and it introduced Justice Society of America after they got teased at the end of season one. Uh, and I thought it was a really fun debut. We'd seen a live action version of the Justice Society on Smallville before, so it isn't as you know kind of uh, groundbreaking as some character introductions on these DC shows, but it was a different lineup. And this is obviously important to put them into the whole uh, Berlanti-verse, Arrow-verse, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and they had the classic meetup of the Legends and the Justice Society. Of course, they have to fight when they first meet. Has to be a misunderstanding. But you know what I loved? I loved that the Legends got their butts kicked, you know, that they definitively lost that fight. That's what you have to do. This is supposed to be a pretty green team. And if you're gonna introduce the Justice Society as, you know, classic heroes, uh, even if they were a secret society, uh, they need to win. So that was, that was good to see. Clearly the episode wasn't really focused on the Justice Society as a team as much as what the Legends did bouncing off them, and specifically Nathan and his interaction with Commander Steel. But I thought that all worked. I thought Commander Steel, he was you know clearly the most uh, fleshed out of the group, but I liked the depiction there. Uh, also costume wise, I think they had fun with it because you know, it's the 1940s, there's a throwback to it. They can kind of just embrace being very comic booky, and it can, it works fine because it's also supposed to be from another era. Uh, Dr. Midnight, I thought, looked really cool and pretty comic specific. Stargirl, she's pretty, pretty easy to get right. Uh, so yeah, you know, at the end of the episode, clearly, our man getting killed, uh, you know, it, this seems like the Justice Society story is not completely over yet, nor what I want it to be. I would like there to be, even if they're not, you know, an ongoing part of the season in a direct way, I think it's important that you, if you're gonna bring in something this big, you need to deal with it more and repercussions of it. So I'm intrigued to see where it goes from here. Uh, but for now, I think this was a pretty cool introduction, especially given that they didn't have any of the sort of A-list characters like original Green Lantern or Jay Garrick as Flash. They're dealing with, you know, not not the most recognizable members of the team, but I think that they, they came off well here. So those are my thoughts on the Justice Society and Legends of Tomorrow. What did you think? You can read Jesse Shadeen's full review at IGN right now. And for plenty more on all things DC and the CW and the DC characters on the CW, keep it here at IGN.